Adventure is a big part of kayak fishing. Hey, I'm Mark Mall, and on Midwest Outdoors today, we are going way back in the middle of nowhere in northern Minnesota. Gonna try and get some keepers. I mean, we might catch a few bigger fish along the way too, but that's okay. We're not gonna argue with that. Hey, stick around. I'm gonna show you some lure options that you might wanna consider when you plan your next kayak fishing adventure. Oh, this might be a giant bass. I mean, this might be a big bass. I don't know. It feels like it wants to come up. Oh, buddy. Oh, big bass. Oh, big, big bass. Get up there. All right, well, I was working this new black four inch pencil parallel to the bull rush line, old bull rush. There's not a whole lot of weeds out here yet. And that fish actually came up from behind and just, just kind of nipped at it. And I was like, oh, I think there's a fish. And then it just blew up and then my heart started beating. But this was really cool because I could hear the lure. And that's what's neat about these four inch pencils is you can hear them. And this is a new black pattern. I'm using black because we have a little bit cloudier day and I think the fish can see it as a better silhouette against the clouds than if it was a more sunny day. Just an awesome fish. <laughs> yeah, it's a little over 19 with the mouth open, so we're looking at a big dandy 19. Is what I'm looking for. Oh, jeez. He's got some, he got a case of the spunkies. <laughs> that one came up. He's like, I, I think I want to try some of that, but I'm not too sure. Well, I maybe. Oh, that might. Oh, no, that's a slot fish. That's a, that's a nice fish, actually. So we got a great slot fish here. Beautiful northern. Uh, when I say slot fish, I mean, where we're at today, you can't keep any fish between 22 and, and 26 inches. So that clearly is gonna be in that range. Really healthy fish, uh, <laughs> absolutely hammered that four inch pencil. Great fight too. Now, so one thing I was saying about this black pencil, you can see I got a little salad with that. I was actually hoping to get some Northerns with it. Um, but one thing I did was that fish came right up behind it and missed it. And so I waited, didn't even move the bait nothing so i pulled it forward about eight to ten inches nothing again pulled it forward about a foot and that just exploded so don't give up on your casts if a fish comes up behind it sometimes give it a little bit then i'll come back and hit it again there's one This might be a keeper northern. Uh, this might be what I'm looking for. Ooh. Might be, actually. Better net this rascal. Oh, get up here. Uh, he's kind of skinny, but hey, I'll take it. On an adventure trip like today, I usually have two rods with different lines set up. I usually go one with 20 pound test and I also go with a rod that's got 65 pound test. And I usually base the lines on the types of lures I'm using and whether or not I anticipate that fish are going to eat the lure or just bite it. So for example, I use the 20 pound test with lures like props because chances are a lot of like northerns that I'm chasing are going to eat that back hook. So I'm not as worried about them swallowing it and maybe cutting the line. Now, the one knock rattling vibe, however, that's where I'm going to use the 65 pound test super braid because I anticipate that when a fish hits it, they are going to absolutely engulf it.
there's one. I don't I think it's a northern. Oh, big splash. Come here. Little roof ball. I think he's got some spunk in him yet. I think that'll add perfectly to getting some fish to eat here. I didn't want any big ones, and this is just a perfect for what I want to do. Get up here. There we go. Whew. That's a very successful day. Hey, it was a great adventure on the water. Gotta love when a trip ends with being able to take a couple of fish home to eat. I'm Mark Mall, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.